Got Mike McDaniel on the line talking ACC schedules for 2019. Our next stop is Boston College. Uh, the Eagles uh, were a dark horse pick for a lot of people to possibly challenge Clemson in the Atlantic Division. Obviously, they lost that head-to-head matchup at BC when they still had a chance to win the division. Then they kind of faltered late, finishing at 4-4, four 7-5 and four, seven and five in the conference. Typical BC season. And uh, we look at the schedule, Mike. Uh, three Power 5 teams, but of course, two of them. Uh, outside the conference are two of the worst programs in college football, taking on Kansas and a game at Rutgers, Notre Dame, uh, with their contractual obligations to the ACC, gets the round robin and taking on BC and Richmond's the other non-conference game. Yeah, it's it's interesting for BC. I mean, they got AJ Dillon, right? So that as long as they run the ball, they'll be good. Um, Virginia Tech in the opener. Uh, you know, I don't even know who's going to be playing for the Hokies come week one with the way players have been transferring out of the program recently so i you know we'll see what kind of game that is it's always tough to open up against a conference opponent that will play you tough and virginia tech and boston college have had plenty of battles in the past so that'll be a pretty intriguing week one game in conference play to get things rolling there um at at the end of august but you know bc's got richmond they got kansas you know fighting less miles in week three um, you're on the road at Rutgers, you got a home game against Wake Forest, and you're on the road at Louisville. I mean, I think that's relatively favorable for Boston College, given what they have returning. Uh, week seven, they got a bye week. NC State, Clemson, Syracuse, Florida State. You got Clemson and Syracuse on the road in that stretch. Those are two really tough games. I think the the brunt of the schedule is clearly week six to, um, or I'm sorry, week eight to week 11 uh for boston college right so you got nc state at home again at clemson at syracuse home against florida state that's going to be a really really telling stretch for boston college uh because i think it's pretty safe to say that they'll be hoping for a split in the final two games of the year week 13 and week 14 they're on the road at notre dame and they're at Pitt. look Pitt's not very good boston college should have a really good chance to win there but when you got two back-to-back road games to finish the year that's a tough ask um, especially when you're playing Notre Dame a team that's likely going to be a top 10 team next year and then Pittsburgh is a tough in-conference opponent um, that BC uh, will will, it'll be a smash mouth game um, at at the end of the year you don't know who's going to be healthy it's the final week of the season so look it sets up pretty well for Boston College overall Again, I think the stretch in mid-October to early November is going to be really telling as far as what the ceiling is for Boston College's win total. But look, if BC can get by Virginia Tech in the opener, I I think the Richmond, Kansas, at Rutgers, and Wake Forest stretch that they have are all pretty winnable. I think at Louisville is also pretty winnable, even though they should be better coached under Scott Satterfield. I think it's a winnable game for Boston College. I would not be surprised to see the Eagles sitting at 6-0 and when they hit their bye week in Week 7. I really wouldn't. Uh, But with that being said, it's such a tough stretch to finish the year in your final six games that, you know, I I think saying that Boston College will win seven, I I mean, seven, seven wins for Boston College has kind of been the norm. But I think they can get to eight, maybe nine wins if everything falls their way. But at Clemson, at Notre Dame and at Syracuse, those are three really, really tough games, not to mention the opener against Virginia Tech, who always plays Boston College tough. So eight and four. Seven and five seems pretty safe for BC, even if they're able to start the year six and oh, it just the back half of the schedule seems really, really brutal for the Eagles in 2019. And for those of you that watch me on a regular basis, have probably heard me rail against uh, ACC and SEC scheduling in particular because of the crossover designated rival, which makes sense and should be in play when it's North Carolina and North Carolina State. Miami, Florida State. I don't know why everybody has to have a designated rival. You can rotate two teams instead of one for the others because it gives us yearly matchups like Boston College and Virginia Tech when the Hokies and the Eagles could be seeing more of the ACC instead of playing this game that doesn't need to be played every year. 